So a question that comes up quite often is uh, we've got someone who is moving from location A to location B and they own their current home and they're not going to sell it. What they want to do is they want to rent it out and then count that rental income for qualifying uh, purposes to count that income to help their debt to income ratio on the new loan uh, for the new home that they're buying. So can they do that? Yes or no. It can be confusing and depending on who you ask and really what type of loan program you're asking about will dictate the answers that you get. So I found out today when working with a, uh, a buyer that USDA does not allow this uh, as there's no way to satisfy the two-year uh, rental income on that property requirement if you're just moving out of that home. So if you own another home and you rented that home out for two years, then you can consider that as stable income. But if you're moving out of the home and you're just now starting to rent that out, there's no way to establish uh, that that is stable income for that particular property. Now, other loan types, FHA, VA, conventional loans, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, they all allow this to some degree and with some different rules. So we're gonna take a moment and we're going to go over those. And so if you or someone you know is in this situation, they're, they're wanting to rent out uh, their current home and uh, they're wanting to rent out their current home to help qualify for the purchase of their new home. Maybe uh, maybe they want to uh, buy before they sell just for convenience sake. Maybe we want to be careful or be, uh, be certain that we're not going to sell our house we don't have a home. We're over here. We're trying to close and something happens and all of a sudden we can't buy this home. Maybe something happens to the sellers, the sellers back out, whatever. But at this point, we don't have this home and we've already sold our home. We're homeless and they're trying to avoid that. I've seen other situations where it's sentimental. Maybe they uh, maybe they inherited the home. It was mom's home. It was grandma's home and they just don't want to sell it, even though they're wanting to move to a larger, uh, larger home, a new location, closer to job, closer to family, uh, whatever the case may be. And so they're wanting to keep this current home, but there's a mortgage on it. And so they need to count the rent, uh, rental income from that home to help qualify for the payment on the new home, uh, that they're looking at. One of the things to be mindful of if you're in this situation is all of the programs that we're about to talk about, they only allow you to use 75% of the rental income. So if you're renting the home for a thousand dollars a month, they're only going to allow you maximum of $750 a month income towards your new uh, house payment debt to income ratio calculation. They're only going to give you credit in that calculation for $750. And as you read the guidelines, that's to account for repairs. That's to account for vacancies. So instead of having to sort all of that out and document it, they just use a 25% uh, factor uh, for those items. And so uh, uh, FHA does allow it. FHA does have a requirement that, that you're moving 25, you're moving 100 miles away from your current home. So if you're living in a home here, your new home has to be 100 miles away from that home before they'll allow you to use that rental income. And one other caveat on the FHA loan is that they're going to make you get an appraisal on that home and they want to make sure, and I can't really defend this and explain why they have this requirement. Nonetheless, it is a rule that we have to uh, we have to deal with in these situations is they want to make sure that you have 25% equity into the home that you're leaving and going to rent out. And so what they're going to require is that you get an appraisal and they're going to see how much you owe on it, find out uh, what 75% of uh, that is. They're going to make you get an appraisal, 75% of that. Then they have to make sure that your current mortgage balance is less than that 75%. So making sure that you have a 25% equity uh, equity position in that home. VA is also going to allow this. However, VA doesn't have the rules about 100 miles, about 25% uh, equity in the home, but they are going to, like we stated before, they are going to look at that 75% factor. Now, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, um, a little bit different in that they want to know that you have, uh, well, the amount that they let you use is going to be determined upon your history. So if you have a history of being a landlord, then they're going to let you use the full amount, meaning that if you've got a thousand dollar a month mortgage payment, housing expense, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, and that's your expense for this current home, but you're going to be able to rent the home out for, let's say, two thousand dollars by the time you factor in your 75 percent 
uh, expense ratio, then they're going to let you take that additional $1,000. They're going to let you offset the mortgage payment of $1,000 and then calculate an additional $1,000 of net rental income to further lower your debt to income ratio. Now, if you don't have that experience of being a landlord, then you're going to be limited. You're going to be limited to whatever your housing expense is. So if you've got $1,000 a month in housing expense on your current loan and you're going to rent it out for $2,000, they're only going to allow you to take in or uh, calculate $1,000 worth of income to offset that $1,000 a month housing expense, thereby eliminating the impact that that current housing expense has on your debt to income ratio on the new loan. So while you're not able to count any additional income, you are able to offset that 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 housing expense and thereby reducing the debt to income ratio. And we've done this quite a few times using all of these programs, of course, except for the USDA and navigate the different guidelines and issues for each person that we've helped and offset that uh, at a minimum, offset that uh, mortgage payment, that housing expense for their current home or their previous home and helping them qualify for uh, the purchase of their new home. So uh, just be aware, it's unique, nuances, caveats, depending on the loan type. Uh, the answer I give everyone is yes, we can, but let's dig into it and make sure that it meets your needs and can help you accomplish your goals. I hope this helps.